everyone. Welcome to Basketball Talk Pro. I'm Ron Ecker. Today we uh, want to talk a little bit about defending the screen at the ball uh, and show you uh, today we want to talk primarily about principles uh, and uh, in part two which we have to do to show you film. Uh, we will have film and show you uh, a drill that we use uh, to uh, perfect what we're trying to accomplish. Uh, so first of all, uh, for us, uh, in our defensive philosophy and thinking, uh, our main concern in the screen and roll uh, is to keep the defense intact. Uh, there's a, a, a number of ways that uh, the screen and roll can put you into scramble. Our main objective is to keep us from going into scramble. We don't want to overrate uh, the actual two-man play, the screener and the, and the uh, player with the ball. Uh, our, uh, all kinds of evaluation has shown us uh, that that particular part is not as effective as it would appear to be. Uh, in fact, I've never seen it go above uh, 0 0.7 uh, points per time they, they ran it. And that's not good enough to win. Uh, you, you have to be somewhere around the one point. In other words, one point for every time uh, you run something in order for it to be good enough uh, to beat uh, your opponent in most, most uh, games. So our objective is to try to keep our defense intact uh, so that we don't have to rotate or uh, come off people uh, to uh, give help. So having said that, uh, when you look at the, uh, the three uh, things that can happen with those two men, uh, one is the drive, of course, uh, one is the shot uh, over, the, over the screen, uh, and the third is the roll man. And I think we underrate sometimes the effect that a roll man uh, can have in scrambling the defense. So our preference is uh, to go under the screen and to allow the screener's man to loosen up. In fact, he has to, to do this effectively. But we want both of those players uh, to have a sense of freedom of which they choose. It is all right with us under the right circumstances for the man guarding the ball to go over the screen. And we will explain that on the whiteboard in just a little bit. Uh, and it's also all right with us uh, if, the, if in the uh, screen and roll situation, if the man with the ball takes, uh, is able to get a drive to the basket, it's all right for the screener's man to pick him up uh, and make it a, 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 what amounts to a switch. Um, though that doesn't have to happen a lot, it can happen. Uh, what we want to, to keep from doing is to come off for to help uh, and to stop a driver from having a layup and following him. As you recall when we talked about uh, regarding the man with the ball, uh, the main concern is uh, the three things. First of all, is layups. Uh, if, you, if you can keep them from getting layups, uh, you're, you're fairly effective. The other thing is putting them on the line, letting them shoot free throws. Uh, and the third thing is being able to pass out to an open man. Uh, we feel we'd rather have a big man trying to guard that driver where he can contest shots uh, if he does um, be able to uh, use the screen and uh, uh, 
develop a drive. So both of those players have freedom. Our objective is to try to keep ourselves intact. Now I'm going to go on the, on the whiteboard and we talk a little bit more about this, but uh, if you keep in mind uh, what, we, what we're trying to achieve, um, a lot of this will make uh, more sense to you. And I think when you see the film, what we do in order to uh, help our players to be able to uh, affect this effectively, uh, I think it'll make some sense to you. So, uh, now let's go uh, on the whiteboard. Well, here we have uh, in this diagram uh, the major situation we're talking about. Uh, let's just, uh, set, we're setting this up in kind of a, a middle uh, of the floor pick and roll high. Uh, it could be any, we don't want to change from one type of screen and roll to another. So we do it uh, the same with any, whether it's a, a side uh, screen and roll, a random screen and roll, uh, either one of those, all those situations, we want one way so that the players get uh, good at it. Uh, so here's our situation, uh, and I didn't put defensive men on, on these two men for now. Uh, what we're looking at is these situations. A man able to get his defensive man screened off and uh, take the drive. Uh, or if he goes too far underneath to take the shot. Uh, this man, in our minds, is critical what he does. But if he rolls off of this, he has the opportunity to put a lot of pressure on these men that are guarding outside men. Now, if we don't need any help, those three men are almost useless uh, offensively. They only come into play if we have to make an adjustment and give help from those three spots. We try to avoid that. Now, our preference, as we mentioned, is going under the screen. And here's how we try to teach this to our players. Uh, first of all, uh, as the drive takes, this man loosens up. The man guarding the screener loosens up to give him a path to go underneath there. Uh, what the trick is, uh, is to teach this man uh, guarding the ball how to go through there quickly. Uh, if you watch uh, a lot of players, it, it happens more times than you would realize. They get hung up on this screen and they quit. Uh, we want to dance around that screen, uh, if at all possible, uh, and get through there quick because we will stop the drive there, should be able to control the drive and still be able to contest a shot. And contesting an outside shot is very effective. We don't need to stop the shot uh, if we can get a decent cont uh, contest on that shot. Percentages are in a, our favor. So now if the guy does drive and gets through, this man is free to go and pick him up. Uh, so we still don't have to come off of those uh, outside men. Now we have, uh, we give the outside man guarding the ball freedom also. A lot of times this man will go far enough from the screen so he, our, our guy can go over the top without getting picked. Uh, that's, we work with our players to learn how to feel to do that. Uh, and the other thing that can happen is, and this happens a lot, the roll man, the, the guy screener, rolls into this man and forces him down real low. Uh, if that happens, our man guarding the ball, has, if, if it happens, it's going to be a big hole in here. So he can go over the top. We, we prefer him to go under, but we allow him to go over the top in these situations. Uh, so by doing that, 
uh, we try to keep this intact and not have to come off uh, with our outside men, regardless of how they're, they're set up. Uh, uh, we play it the same uh, with any type of, of screen and roll. So to mo in our next session, uh, we will uh, make that mostly film work. We'll show you the drill that we use to teach uh, our system uh, of how we want to uh, play uh, this particular defensive situation. Uh, and uh, so that will be primarily all, f all film work uh, in the next session. We'll show you uh, the, how we teach the drill. Uh, going through the film, you will see corrections. You will see us talk to the players uh, about the various situations that uh, can come up. Uh, so that's it for today. Uh, and we'll see you the next time, and we'll close this up on guarding and defending uh, the screen at the ball. Thank you.